Welcome to the Weekend Market Roundup, 6 July 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. Before I begin, let's go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topics, we look at oil and gold, these two commodities using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. In general, when swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the direction of the market. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical charts of market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study that using industry scorecard. Along the way, we may review some of the recent examples from our traders forum. You may also access the forum from our homepage. It is open to the public and we'll look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity using any of the Q trade setups at the right edge in only a few seconds. One week ago, oil was near the weekly memory resistance line and it was also near a daily memory resistance line. Looking at that, in the previous market roundup, I suggested caution and said it was not a good time to take new long position in oil. Indeed, price came down from the memory resistance lines. In the last two days, price went up little bit. However, it continues to be in a downtrend. Therefore, you may not look for any buying opportunity in oil right now. Instead, if oil tilts down from here, and gives us a magenta flow color candle in the daily chart that may give a trend following short trade entry opportunity using the go with flow trade setup. You may keep an eye on the weekly at that time to see if the weekly is also meeting the checklist conditions for the trend following short trade setup. Gold ETF GLD. In the weekly chart, we have a mixed shape candle. The candle has both lower tail and upper tail. Therefore, the shape is indecisive. One week earlier, we had a bearish shape candle. From there, price fell down little bit, though the backdrop candle color is remaining cyan, that is bullish. One week ago, price closed at this point. In the market roundup at that time, I had mentioned that price was bullish. However, it was way above the upper boundary line. And it was also overbought at that time. Therefore, we would not take any long position in gold at that time. After that, gold is moving erratically. There was a big gap down day here. Immediately after that, gold rallied 
and here it had a big gap down day again this up down up down move is also seen with the pressure band indicator there were two extreme bullish pressure days followed by a bearish pressure day another bearish pressure day then a bullish pressure followed by the last candle which had a bearish pressure when the price is moving erratically with gap up and gap down and it is also accompanied with extreme bullish and bearish pressures there may not be any clear trend in gold for swing trading purpose and it may be best to stay away from taking swing trades in gold right now from the commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying market breadth using nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume one week ago in the last market roundup i mentioned that everything was looking bullish in market bread the nasdaq and nyse weekly candles were bullish both in shape and color and all the market internals were going up at that time everything was bullish there is there was no bearish sign at all one week ago that bullish picture led to further market strengthening this week both nasdaq and nyse composite indices went up strongly the internals are also mostly bullish all the internals ended in the positive except one that is the advanced decline of nyse however in aggregate we have to conclude that the market breadth is continuing to remain bullish market breadth was bullish let's have a look at the market etfs this is s&p 500 etf spy the weekly is bullish in color and shape it made a new all time high daily is going up it is in an uptrend it is above the upper boundary level overbought both in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart therefore i may not chase the price take new long position in spy right now however it is bullish there is no shorting opportunity at all price is also supported by daily memory support line nasdaq etf qqq again weekly is bullish in color and shape stop just short of making a new all time high the daily is also in an uptrend it is bullish it is also overbought price is at the upper boundary level and the stretch band indicator is also showing that it is overbought dow jones industrial average etf dia again bullish in the weekly chart bullish in the daily chart price is near the upper boundary level in the daily chart and it is overbought price stopped right at the previous all time high just one cent below that it is certainly bullish if you notice the weekly volume is very small in fact that was true for spy and qqq as well russell 2000 etf iwm this was the weakest of the four market etfs and it is continuing to be that way it is inside a triangle pattern both in the weekly as well as in the daily chart we may not take any swing trade until it can break out of the triangle pattern in either direction what about the sector performance 
here we are looking at one month sector performance the red bar represents performance of the current week green bar performance of the previous week and the blue bar performance of two weeks before that together they represent one month of performance this week 10 of the sectors went up and several of them went up by significant percentages only one sector energy went down we could expect that because oil reversed from memory resistance trend lines both in the weekly as well as in the daily charts if we look at the best performing sectors they are some in non-defensive sectors like communication services financials infotech materials and the non-defensive sectors are interspersed with defensive sectors like consumer staples, real estate, utilities. In the market at some points defensive sectors do better at some other points non-defensive sectors do better. However this week both defensive as well as non-defensive sectors went up. That shows that the market as a whole is bullish. Market breadth is bullish and the sectors are also bullish. In this market, it may be easier to make profit from taking long trades. Exactly which sectors will you buy? You may decide that by looking at the strength transition of the sectors over periods of time. Here we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 day, 5 day periods. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. And the last column, pace column, shows acceleration, deceleration. Acceleration is shown by cyan color, deceleration is shown by magenta color. The two best performing sectors at present are communication services and consumer staples. Looking to the right, communication services was weaker earlier. The score was in magenta color and now it has become the strongest sector. Looking at that current strength and the strengthening of the sector over a period of time you may look for buying opportunities in this sector. What about consumer staples? It is the second best performing sector. However, it is switching between weakness to strength to weakness to strength again. It may not be that easy to take profitable swing trades in consumer staples right now, especially trend following swing trades. What about the bearish side? The weakest sectors at present are energy and industrials. Energy is already weak for a long period of time. Therefore, the best shorting opportunities might have passed. You may not look for shorting opportunities in energy sector right now. On the other hand, industrials was stronger earlier in this period and now it is the second worst performing sector. On top of that, the pace column shows that it is the most decelerating sector. Therefore, if you are going to take short trades, then industrial sector may be the place to look for short opportunities. However, as I already mentioned, the market is bullish in a bullish market it is easier to profit from taking long trades and you may focus therefore on communication services which is the strongest sector or real estate which is the most accelerating sector however the sector level is 
too broad to make more accurate decision, you may look into the industry level and buy into the strongest industries and short into the weakest industries. Now we look at the best performing industries. They are shown by cyan color under 5 day column in the industry scorecard. The 10 best performing industries are across multiple sectors. Industrial rates is an interesting industry. It was strong for a long time. We can one week ago and this week it is again one of the best performing industries. On top of that it is also the most accelerating industry. What kind of buy setups can we expect from industrial rates? The industry was one of the best performers for a long time. Therefore, we will expect the stocks to be also at a higher price level. They will not be undervalued anymore, most of them. What kind of technical trade setup may we expect? We may expect technical trade setups at 52 week high or near 52 week high and probably breaking out from there. If I drill down into industrial rates, indeed all the stocks that we see in industry scorecard in the industrial rates industry, they are all overvalued. That is shown by the magenta color under the two valuation columns. Some of them have excellent earnings growth, especially the first one IIPR. It has very nice earnings growth in the past three quarters and it also has fantastic revenue growth in the last three quarters. This week it went up by 8.7%. It is very close to 52 week high, only 5% below 52 week high. I, I, PR using at a glance template. Since this week when it broke out of the watermark resistance level in the weekly chart, it is steadily going up. The weekly candle color and shape for the current week, both are bullish. For two weeks, it gave us inside candles. And this week's candle shape and color both are bullish. In the daily chart, it formed a base, a flag kind of pattern after moving up sharply. Price is right at the memory resistance line. Next week, if it breaks out of the memory resistance, then it will clear the flag pattern and you may look for a buying opportunity putting stop just below the recent low. You would do that if you are comfortable buying stocks that are already above the upper boundary level. It is not my favorite place to take a long trade because stocks tend to be overbought when they are near the upper boundary level. However, if you are comfortable buying strong stocks at breakouts that are near 52 week high, then IIPR may give a buying opportunity next week if it goes above this memory resistance line. We saw that IIPR's industry is strong now and it is also the most accelerating industry. Most of the stocks in this industry are expected to be overvalued. Is there any undervalued stocks? We can find that are 
is there any undervalued stock in this industry we can find that out from doing a peer analysis of iipr we are doing an industry peer analysis retrieving stocks from the industrial rates industry from the summary statistics we can see that over 5 days out of 12 stocks that we found from the peer analysis all the 12 went up and over 10 days also 8 went up 4 went down so it is bullish both over one week period as well as two weeks period let's look at the peer stocks we can see one stock is undervalued that is ILPT we know that from the cyan color under the valuation columns let's have a look at ILPT's charts this is ILPT what was the best time to buy this stock using Q technique the best time would be when it created a double bottom in the weekly chart at that time it came to this watermark support level it had heavy activity weeks and it reversed from that watermark support double bottom and we could look for buy setups on the daily chart at that time was there any buy setup let me change the daily template so that i can see the watermark level it was around 18.2 that will be around this level therefore in the weekly chart when it was bouncing up from the weekly watermark level in the daily chart it came to the equivalent price level and went up from there we would not buy when it was first going up but after a pullback when it started to go up again you could take a long position in this stock on this first cyan color candle after it created a higher low that would be the first possible trend following long trade setup in Q technique using the go with flow trade setup at this point stop would be just below recent low if you didn't take that trade the next buying opportunity came on this candle that was the next cyan color candle the cyan flow color candles represent the possible buy points optimal buy points in a stock that is starting to be in an uptrend like at this point or that is already in an uptrend you could buy the stock at this point at the close of the sand color candle putting stop just below the recent low since then price has gone up now it is already above the upper boundary level and we are already one two three four days away from the go with flow long trade setup day it is also overbought as shown by the stretch band indicator every day that passes since our go with flow long trade signal day our risk goes up so if we were going to take a long position on this day the stop would still be below recent low so the risk amount is going higher and higher whereas the potential reward is becoming smaller and smaller in Q technique we don't like that kind of trade we like to take the trade on the signal day when all the checklist conditions are made and Q traders would like to buy the stock on this day not on a subsequent day 
back to the industry scorecard. Just now we looked at industrial rate stocks. The industry was strong for a long time and accelerated again. We expected most of the stocks to be overvalued and we indeed found that out to be true. In this kind of industry, you would expect breakout stocks or trend following long trades at the top. If you are not comfortable taking long position in stocks that are already at a high level, you may look for another industry strength pattern like in textiles, which was weak for a long time and now starting to strengthen. Or food distributors which was also weak for a long time and now starting to strengthen. What kind of stocks we would expect in this industry? We would expect them to be at a lower price level, maybe close to the 52 week low and that may be breaking out of some memory resistance line. Let me drill down into food distributors. UNFI is a stock that is undervalued. The valuation is in cyan color. It has significant revenue growth in the last three quarters. The quarterly earnings is negative for the last three quarters. However, for the last three years, earnings is going up. It has a short squeeze potential. And this week the stock went up by 12%. It is 18% above 52 week low. Let's look at its technical charts UNFI. We just saw ILPT and the best buying opportunity in ILPT came near this double bottom in the weekly chart which was accompanied by heavy activity. And now see UNFI, it is creating a double bottom in the weekly chart just like ILPT did earlier. The double bottom is also accompanied by heavy activity. If it goes up from here, that will give a very low risk buy opportunity with potentially large profit. Will I buy UNFI right now? No, because there are multiple memory resistance lines in the daily chart. I would wait for price to break out of the memory resistance lines. Then probably wait for a pullback and then tilting up again, giving me a low risk entry opportunity. And that will most likely be a trend following go with flow trade setup. That will be the first possible trend following long trade setup in UNFI after this very long downtrend. I will wait for that. As you may see using the Q systems you may look for buying opportunities in different ways that meets your trading style. You may look for breakout candidates at or near 52 week high, those will probably be in high growth stocks with excellent earnings growth. You may also look for buy setups in stocks that are undervalued. They will most likely be near 52 week low and probably breaking out of memory resistance trend lines at a very low price level. Whatever be your preference, you may find a trade setup where the industry strength, fundamental strength and the technical strength are aligned. You may look for similar trade ideas from our traders forum where I regularly post 360 degrees analysis of stocks by combining the strengths of industry, fundamental and technical. You may access the forum from the forum menu of our homepage. Before I end, let me summarize. 
In the previous market roundup, I showed that the market breadth was strong, the market ETFs were bullish, and the sectors were also bullish. That bullishness resulted in further up move in the market this week. This week, the market breadth is continuing to be bullish. The market ETFs are also bullish and the sectors are bullish as well. In this market condition, you may look for buy opportunities rather than shorting opportunities. However, you may avoid buying into stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.